Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here for another speed build and today we're going to go ahead and build this home called Modern Suburban. Um, so that actually didn't sound right. It is a modern suburban home, I should have said. Um, but it's also the name of it as well. Um, so it is up on the gallery, so make sure you head over there. My origin ID is real Thomas TV one to go ahead and download this for yourself. So this home features three bedrooms and four bathrooms and it has a huge pool in the back garden. I didn't plan on making it that big but it kind of just turned to be out that way and um i don't know if i actually got it in the recording but we'll get onto that a little bit later if it is and um, because what i'm trying to do now with my speed build videos is kind of just make them a little bit more condensed and kind of just show you a little bit of each part of the build and um, so you might see like a minute or so or like just a few seconds of a particular part of the build and um, so for example landscaping as you can see here i'm starting it off and then sometimes i might like just cut and then i'll show you what it looks like towards the end and then if i do end up you know sometimes i can sort of mess up on my editing skills sometimes and i might you know end up cutting out a huge part which i don't even realize and um, at the end of the video there's always screenshots so make sure you stick around for them so you can go ahead and see how everything turned out in full um, at the end so um, this build, I went a little bit crazy on the landscape and things. As you can see here, I'm working on something a little bit. I just, I don't really know what I was trying to do here. Well, I kind of did. I was trying to make like a little pathway there in between that the two kind of like fountains and um, going to a little seating area. And it did work out in the end. It did take a little bit of time to try and get it right. Um, but I really liked how it looked in the end. Um, and yes, yeah, so that was pretty much all I recorded for the outside. I know it was a little bit short. I didn't realise I didn't. I thought I'd included some from the back on, but it looks like I didn't. Um, so I'm sorry about that. But but um, there was a little, I did do a little machinima thing at the start, which I'm sometimes doing now. Um, so can I give you a little insight to it? Um, there's also, again, like I said, screenshots. So you can see that at the end. So working on the kitchen here. Now, I did this today. Um, it's this. I'm, I'm, oh, my God. I'm speaking too fast. I'm recording this on the 6th of August. I'm doing the voiceover for it. And... Um, I actually started doing all the exterior things just before you saw the cut to the kitchen here. I did all of that before I went on holiday, which was the 22nd to the 29th of July. I did mention in a couple of my speed build videos before that I did four different homes before I went, and um, which I did the exterior for. And then when I came back, I had the interiors to do. I just wanted to try it out that way because I'm really wanting to kind of do some more bigger builds, but it can kind of get a little bit overwhelming. So I thought that may be a good idea to do since I would have a week break is to maybe do all the exterior and then come back to do the interior and I really like doing that way actually. So I did that for my Lakeside Suburban home and um, I did it for the Bluebell Avenue home. This is the third one, Modern Suburban, and I've also got one other one coming up as well um, which should be coming up pretty soon. And um, yeah, so that was, didn't record too much of the kitchen there. Um, I did try to do something a little bit different with this house. Well, not like one specific thing, but kind of just going out of the box a little bit more, trying to do some more different things that I would normally do. Um, so in the bathroom, it's like literally minor things, but like it was, I'm just, I'm kind of getting used to like a routine of what I like to do in my builds. And I kind of just, that you'll see that kind of, I don't know, kind of flowing through my other builds, if that makes sense. Um, so I try to do some other things I wouldn't normally do. Really simple things, like to be honest, it's not even like, it's kind of just not that impressive, to be honest. It's kind of just doing different wallpaper coverings, like, because I normally just choose one or two, um, doing like, you know, three or four um, in one kind of area. So as you can see here, I've got a, a um, green and a cream <laughs> they kind of sound the same didn't it sound like i said the same thing a green and a cream <laughs> hopefully you can hear the difference there and uh, well you can see it on screen like a tan color and like a dark greenish sort of color there um in the main kind of downstairs area i really like that and i've also paused on screen here i'm hoping it's not lag and this always happens literally every single speed build this always happens where i take a break during the video and i forget i cut it out when i edit and then like sitting there panicking thinking that oh no my recording's frozen and then the thing's going to be laggy or oh, i've just taken a break and i've forgotten to cut it out but luckily this time i've just taken a break and it wasn't that long and um, sometimes i have to like if it's too long i cut the record like my voiceover and go back and re-edit it <laughs> which sometimes can be annoying um so working on the little hallway area here now this hallway area surprisingly took so long i don't know what it was about it it just took me so long and um, it was kind of big i suppose because there's also like a seating area behind the stairs there's a little bit to the sides of the stairs as well and um, so it did take me a little bit of time um, just trying to, I don't know, just make it look a little bit more interesting, I suppose. Also put quite a bit of shelving, which is something that simple. Like there's always a couple of simple things like shelves and, and things like that. I always forget to put in my builds. And it's always those little things that add so much more detail. So I'm trying to kind of 
pay more attention to those sort of little details to try and improve my builds a little bit. Um, so you'll see that in the living room and stuff and, um, you know, just doing little things here and there. So working on this room here, which is a study room. Now, um, it is pretty bare, I would say. I didn't go overkill on the decorations and that actually might be something you see throughout this house um, because what I was trying to do is, when I thought of like modern, like that sort of theme and that type of architecture, I feel like it's very kind of minimalistic. If that, if, Did I say that right? Probably not. Um, it's kind of just doesn't have a lot going on. It's kind of straightforward, not a lot of clutter and things like that. And I really like that because sometimes I kind of make builds very... I guess cluttered and things because I feel like oh no this build is too simple I haven't got enough in it doesn't look well decorated but for this build I didn't I purposely didn't want to go overkill on the decorations and I really think it turned out nice and um, because sometimes you know it is nice to have very cluttered homes and things and um, to fit more I just guess like a more lived in look and um, but for homes like this every now and again it is nice to not you know go too overkill um so yeah this is a modern home like well it's in the title obviously i don't know why i had to said that say that um and i also use a few items from um the fitness stuff pack because a lot of those things are modern and uh, well all of it is um also use items from city living as well like pretty much every single speed build i'm always using city living it's so diverse and i always mention this but you know the paintings and things it kind of fits every type of theme I do, um, so I'm always using City Living. Um, so here I was trying to do something a little bit different. Ignore those bottle rack things on the um, on the on the um, wall there. I did take those out as you just saw. Um, I wanted to put kind of like I couldn't find the item. It was that one. It's kind of like um, it's. I don't know why it's like a bar you know those like the shelves at the back where all like the bottle drinks are and it, it's it's an in-game item i'm talking about and it has like lights on the back and i couldn't think what it was in which item place like which category i'd find it in so uh, i couldn't do it so i just used those waterfalls which i wasn't planning on doing but it, i just kind of randomly found it in the catalog and i was like wow this actually might be a nice idea to do but as you saw there was a little bit of a lighting glitch um as it was when black like the trim of it of the waterfalls and um, which it wasn't supposed to be but you know it's not too much of a big deal maybe once you place it down in your home it won't do that i think i was well i was thinking it might be to do with how it was on a diagonal i don't know if that's to do with it i don't really do a whole lot of builds on diagonals and um, so as you can see here i was trying to do you know in this build um i added a few diagonals and things it didn't make the decoration a little bit more complicated um but you know i just thought it was just something nice and just something that adds a little bit more I guess, I don't know, just something a little bit different from what I normally do, I guess. How many times can I say I guess in this space of a minute? I have no idea. <laughs> Oh god, anyway, this voiceover is a mess. So we're working on the upstairs now. I'm on the master bedroom. This bedroom has an ensuite to it where I put a bath and also, well, actually, just a single bath because sometimes I do the double bath and shower thing or just a shower. I never really do kind of just the bath on its own, um, but today I did that. And um, another thing as well, like I was mentioning before, trying to do something a little bit different from what I normally do. Um, I also, in the one of the bathrooms up here, um, in this on the top floor, I also did one of those things where you kind of get one of those console tables and then you put a sink inside it. If you don't know what I mean, we'll get onto it in just a second. Um, but I thought it was kind of a nice idea just to kind of... I don't know, just change things up a little bit. And it's something I've never really done. I just thought it looked a little bit interesting and I went ahead and did that. So this is the bathroom here, the ensuite bathroom. Pretty simple. I normally do the... <laughs> all my bathrooms turn out the same. And I do it kind of on purpose because I never really know how to make bathrooms that great, to be honest. They're always just kind of something very minor. It's not really a big part of the build that I think about. So I always just make the colour swatches the same in them. Um, if it's like a big house where there's like like tons of bathrooms and then, yeah i might actually go ahead you know change the uh color swatch and things but most of the time i just keep them the same just for ease really i don't really think it's that important to kind of make them very different so this is the second bedroom we're working on and um, this one is a red theme i really, really like this one and um, it is pretty similar to one that i did in my bluebell avenue home um and i don't know why i just wanted to make the bedrooms a little bit different so it wasn't too i guess the same and um, because downstairs was pretty much all the same color and um, throughout and i didn't want to have to do that upstairs because i thought that might get a little bit boring to look at so I just paused here for a second. Oh yeah, that was because my sister was playing The Sims and then she had a fire in her apartment on the game. So I had to go and help her for that. Um, but, you know, it, well, I don't know what happened actually because she just managed to do it herself. I don't know why she needed my help. It was kind of, well, she said it was, it's really annoying because sometimes, you know, how um, it does that thing where you click on something and then it does a little thought bubble with the X in and the little footsteps and says you can't go there. It was doing that, but when as soon as I go in, it, it works. <laughs> that always happens. She always asks me for my help on like something to do with The Sims and I go in and 
it's just fine. So that always happens. Anyway, so we're just finishing up. Oh, can't speak. Oh my god, we're just finishing up with that red bedroom there, and we're on this bathroom. Now this is the one where I did the console thing. Um, now I did actually leave the console table red. That was a default color I came with, and I didn't think to change it for some reason. I don't know why. It doesn't really fit in that well with this bathroom. But at the same time, I kind of glad I did leave it like that because it's kind of like a pop of color, and I think it just actually looked pretty nice. Um, another thing I liked about this as well um, is that there was space to put items on the side, which is sometimes can get a little bit annoying when you have when you try to do that with sinks or with counters that you put in your bathrooms because they always snap to the grid and stuff, and it's just really irritating because you have to place them down and then move the counter out the way, then go ahead and it's hard to explain. I, I don't know how. I'm just going to stop because I'm going to be rambling for too long trying to explain it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Um, so we're nearing the end of the build here. Just got a minute or so left before we get into some screenshots as well. Um, and yeah, so. I don't know this well I don't know where this is going up to be honest it's 6th of August today I can't I don't know sometime next week I think um I, I have no idea my schedule's a little bit all over the place I have some projects coming up which I've been working on so that's kind of like a little bit I'm having to like I don't know I'm working on that at the same time I'm having to do videos before it goes up as well these projects I don't know it's hard to explain and I'm going to stop explaining because I'm going to end up giving away what these projects are and I don't want to ruin it yet um but yeah I'm just going to stop talking about that but let's just say there's going to be some exciting things coming soon and when I mean soon I mean very soon so I'm just going to stop talking about that because I don't want to give it away anyway so when you're in the end of the build here and also it's like raining outside at the minute I don't think I don't think you'll be able to hear it through the microphone that always happens where it's like a really loud car or something going outside and then I'm like I can't even hear myself think but then it never comes through on the microphone which is really really great so I'm kind of grateful for that Um, it's always weird. I'm recording this on a Sunday it's always weird because the weather on Sundays is always so so nice and then all of it will be like really nice stuff for the full day um, and then on Monday it'll be cold rainy and just put in a terrible mood and it's literally that every single week and that's why I don't like Sundays because I just know that the next day is going to be horrible back to college but luckily we're on summer vacation now so I don't have to worry about that for another couple of weeks um, and yeah so we're pretty much finished with the build here I really hope you enjoyed in the comment section down below let me know about what you thought of this house and if you have any other ideas ones you want to see in the future make sure you leave this video with a like share and subscribe if you haven't also head over to the gallery my origin ID is real Thomas TV one to download this for yourself and I'll see Oh god, my voice <laughs> voice cracked there. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.